There are many myths attached to obsessive compulsive disorder. People often simplify it and believe that it has to do with cleanliness and organization. As the child of a mother who struggles with it, I can confirm that this is not true. Once my mother sought out a psychiatrist to be professionally diagnosed and treated, her lifestyle has improved significantly. I'm proud of her for taking such a big, important step and will continue to provide support. We created this video to bring awareness to this highly misunderstood mental disorder. We hope it can reduce stigma and make it easier to talk about. Here are five highly misunderstood facts you need to know about OCD. 1. Germophobia does not define OCD. This is perhaps the most common misconception about OCD. Psychologist Barbara Markway states that she's worked with patients with OCD who aren't afraid of germs at all. While it is true that some can be fixated on cleaning and organizing, many others face different obsessions, such as flicking a switch on and off, turning knobs on stoves, and opening and closing doors. My mother does all three of these and also taps her fingers repeatedly on surfaces. 2. Stress does not cause OCD. It's more than just your average worrying. When someone has OCD, they can't relax when their fears and anxiety cloud their judgments. Consequently, people with OCD often feel stuck, helpless, and overwhelmed, which is where their obsessions kick in. Before seeking treatment, my mother lived through dark days, stating that even when she felt like dropping dead, she couldn't stop her rituals. They tore her apart, making her feel like she had no choice but to repeat them, again and again. It's like being haunted, but by the voices in your head. 3. Relaxing does not treat OCD. Just like anxiety and depression, OCD doesn't simply disappear at one's will. Telling someone to stop their obsessions, compulsions, and rituals altogether is not only insensitive, but absurd. People with OCD have regions in their brain that are structured differently than those who do not have it. If you know someone struggling with OCD, nurture understanding and let them know treatment options are available, such as psychotherapy and medication. My mother does both in order to maximize effective results. 4. OCD isn't always obvious. Similar to anxiety and depression, there are hidden signs to OCD as well. You'd be surprised to know that some of the most put-together, successful people out there are silently struggling with OCD. They fear letting others in, afraid that they will be judged for having it. People with OCD have trouble tuning out their inner criticism, so they drown in perfectionism. On the surface, they might look like they're doing well, but inside, it's always a different story when they're gasping for air. 5. OCD doesn't make you more productive in life. OCD does not make someone's work ethic better. Before my mom sought treatment, I'd watch her lose hours of sleep doing tasks, such as completing house chores and running errands. Then, I'd see her rush to work last minute because she felt like she couldn't put those things down. Now, OCD no longer controls her, and she feels like she has a say on what happens. Her rituals, obsessions, and compulsions haven't fully gone away, but she can manage them better today. I feel like she can recognize herself again. Although she faced many tragedies throughout her life that made her condition worse, by seeking treatment, practicing self-awareness, and making other lifestyle changes, such as embracing nature and exercising daily, she's found ways to fight her anxieties. She's come a long way, and if you're someone who struggles with OCD as well, we want to remind you that it doesn't define who you are. Which of these facts did you find most helpful or interesting? Please leave your thoughts down below. If you or someone else you know struggles with OCD, we have provided some useful sources that can be found in our description box below. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips and share this video with others. With your help, we can reach more people to spread awareness on mental health issues. Thanks for watching!